As our product line is constantly expanding, a lot of you guys start coming to us and asking a question, which Delta series product should I choose for myself? Because let's be honest, they all look the same. But are they actually the same? We're about to find out in this video. But before we do so, let's get something straight. Should you choose Reaver series or should you choose Delta series? When we designed Reaver series, we approached it with more portability and flexibility in mind. So it's a little bit more on a smaller side, uh, it's more portable, it's more convenient on a go, but Delta series offers you more power and more capacity and generally better for higher energy needs. Now, which one, which exact one should you choose for yourself? Should it be Delta Mini or Delta One or Delta Two or Delta Two Max or Delta Max or Delta Pro? We're about to find out. The first thing you need to consider before purchasing a power station is whether it has enough power for the thing you want it to do. And two key factors for it would be an output and capacity. Because those two will decide whether it's gonna be able to run your certain power plants and if it can do so, for how long will it last. Because obviously you're not buying one of these to charge your phone like with a regular power bank. You want your lights on, you want it to run your fridge, you want to run a microwave in your RV, or you're working on some project on a, on a site and you need on-site power. You can go ahead and identify the capacity and output. And after this, you'll be able to navigate yourself through all this product to make a right choice. There are three types of scenarios in which Delta products come in real handy. A home backup, an off-grid living, and a professional use. We'll go through each scenario by intensive and light use and give our recommendation according to each case. Say you live in an area where power outages occur regularly and you are somebody who wants to protect your home and your family from power loss. Of course, you would need a strong and reliable battery, but the size of the battery definitely will depend on the size of your home and the appliances you want to run in it. Let's be honest, anything under three kilowatt hours just won't cut it. A single unit of Delta Pro can run an essential appliances in a regular home for over a day because it has 3.6 kilowatt hours of capacity and outputs 4,500 watts, which is a ton because it can run your fridge, it can run your coffee machine, kettle, microwave, anything you can think of, this one can handle. And if you think 3.6 kilowatt hour of capacity is not enough, get yourself an extra battery, 7.2 kilowatt hours. Get yourself two extra batteries. 10.8 kilowatt hours of capacity. Or if you really got a lot of money, get yourself two Delta Pros, four extra batteries, smart home panel, and all together it will give you 21.6 kilowatt hours of capacity, which is an Iron Man bulletproof level of power preparedness. So it's up to you whether you go small or you go all in. Plus, Delta Pro has more than enough power outlets, such as five AC outlets, six USBs, uh, Anderson port, DC 12 volt port, and so on. So this device can power 15 other devices at the same time. Plus, a 30 amp socket is very interesting because this allows you to connect it through the inlet box into your transfer switch and run your whole house of your Delta system. And if you want to learn more about Delta Pro whole home solution, go ahead and click on the link in the description to understand how exactly Delta Pro systems powering a whole house. Now, of course, if you don't need as much power and you just want to be ready for occasional blackout to run your stuff for a few hours, get yourself a Delta II. It's a no brainer. It has one kilowatt hour of capacity. You can expand it with extra battery to two kilowatt hour of capacity or connect a Delta Max's extra battery to Delta II and get three kilowatt hour of capacity, which is quite a bit. Plus, it gives you an output of 1800 watt and with Xboost feature, you can expand it to 2200 watt, which is a lot to power your coffee machines, to run your TV, to run your fridge. 90% of your appliances can be covered just by this thing. Plus, it's quite portable and manageable. When it comes to off-grid living, the situation also varies. A single camper who goes out for a weekend will have a very different consumption from 
a family of four who is ready for their RV trip through the summer. So the best choice, of course, is the one that fits your consumption and power need. Of course, if you're going full off-grid long-term, our flagship Delta Pro would be your best friend, especially in RV because it has this 30 amp socket and that means you can run a cable directly from here into your shore power inlet on RV and run your entire RV with a Delta Pro. Plus it has an Anderson port right here, which is DC outlet with high amperage. So it's 30 amp DC outlet, uh, which is also loved by RV community in general. Now, if you're not driving a massive RV, that's fine. If you're driving a Jeep or a truck for overlanding, something like this, you're still going long-term, but in a smaller space, let's say you drive a small van or, or SUV, stuff like that. Uh, don't worry, Delta 2 Max would be a great choice for this purpose because it's very space efficient, it's a lot smaller than the Delta Pro, and with Delta 2 Max you still get 2 kilowatt hours of capacity that is more than enough to power 95 96% of all the things you would ever need. Kettles, no problem. You know, cooking appliances, no problem. So keep that in mind. If you're going long term, but in a smaller spaces, Delta 2 Max is your choice. But let's be fair, how many of you spent 24 seven on a road, traveling thousand miles away from home, stuff like this? Not that many, right? Or not that often. Normally you go for a weekend trip, you go for fishing, you go for a late day, stuff like this. And in this case, I would highly recommend Delta 1 or Delta 2 because with one kilowatt hour of capacity, it's perfect. It's portable enough. It's only 27 pounds or 12 kilograms, but it's also very capable. You want to boil some water with it? No problem. You want to run a coffee machine with it? No problem. You want to charge your drone or computer or, you know, any other appliances? It can handle it all. So with a great portability and capability, Delta 2 would be my choice. So now you've got the gist. If you have a heavy duty machinery like circular saw, electric hammer, so you're working on site, you're fixing road, you're building house, stuff like this, you're on construction, definitely go for Delta Pro or Delta 2 Max or Delta Max. Those three things will be a perfect replacement for a gas generator with less noise, less fumes, and just as much power coming out or even more, depending on the model. Or if you're a digital nomad and your work is mostly on computer or you're a creator, your work is mostly with cameras and drones, definitely go for these three smaller ones, Delta 2, Delta 1, or Delta Mini, because those three can guarantee that you never run out of power your laptop is charged, you're able to deliver your project on time, and no matter if it's you're in the middle of mountains in a Sahara desert or anywhere else, you know. So definitely look at these ones for light duty purposes and look at those ones for heavy duty purposes. In short, what you need to know is what exact device are you powering and how much energy does it consume. That's it. And by the way, we have created a short spreadsheet that will tell you which devices consume how much power. It's approximate data. Please take it with a grain of salt, but I think it can serve you as a reference point. So we're going to be putting the link in the description. Another thing you need to consider about the power station when you buy it is how you're going to charge it. Are you going to charge it from a wall socket or are you going to charge it from solar panels? or you gotta charge it from, I don't know, car outlet or anywhere else. So let's talk about the fast charge first. And the fastest method of charging is from the socket. So EcoFlow has this feature, it's called extreme charging, and that allows our units to charge super fast. It's industry fastest charging. And with our extreme charging speeds, Delta Mini and Delta One can be charged in only 1.6 hours, Delta Two in 1.3 hours, Delta Max in 1.8 hours, Delta Two Max in 1.5 hours, and Delta Pro in 2.7 hours. So our speeds are saving you a lot of time. And don't you forget, the time is money. Now what happens if you have no AC power available in your wall socket, it's a blackout situation, or you're in the mountains, or stuff like this, you know, you definitely got to utilize that solar energy through the solar panels connected 
to your solar generator. Of course, different Delta products have different maximum solar input limits. For example, Delta Mini Max solar input is 300 watt. Delta 1, 400. Delta 2, 500. Delta Max, 800. Delta 2 Max, 1000. And Delta Pro, 1600 watt of solar input. That's definitely more than enough to keep your things powered just through the sun even without any AC input. And despite the fact that we take AC power and solar power as a mainstream source of energy for this unit, you can still use it in different ways. For example, here you can see that we have a couple of XT60 connectors. So not only you can run a solar panels in there, but you can also connect a car 12 volt cigarette charger, cigarette lighter charger in there to feed the power from the car on a go. Not gonna be fast, but will serve the purpose of charging on a go. Or in Delta Pro's case, we have an infinity port right here. And this thing here allows you to charge it from the electric vehicle charging station. So just plug an EV charger with the adapter right here and you will be able to fast charge this on a go at the EV station. And no matter which charging method you choose for yourself in the end of the day, all of Delta products and actually all of EcoFlow products are equipped with BMS, battery management system, which offers a protection for overcharge, over discharge, overheat, underheat, like all kinds of things there. There's a long list of things that BMS does. So all of the units are extra safe, no matter how you charge or discharge them. So moving on to the fourth factor that you need to consider when choosing a portable power station is a life cycle of a battery. Now there are two common battery chemistries out there. One is NCM and one is LFP. Now NCM batteries used to be more common in this kind of products, but nowadays LFP batteries are taking over and there are two key differences in between them. NCM batteries commonly have around 800 cycles on them. So that means you can fully charge and fully discharge that battery for 800 times and only after that its capacity will drop to 80% or lower of its rated original capacity. You get what I'm saying, right? Now, for LFP battery, it's a little bit different. It's 3000 cycles versus 800. So there's a lot more longevity for that batteries. And in our case, Delta Pro, Delta 2 Max, and Delta 2 would be an LFP batteries. And then Delta Max, Delta One and Delta Mini would be an NCM batteries. So you make your own judgment. Another factor that I would like to mention with you is a surge power or power peak. So what it is, when you start an appliance that has a motor inside of it, such as drill or vacuum cleaner or something like this, it will create a spike in your energy consumption just for a fraction of a second. And after that, it will drop down to its normal consumption. But then if your power station surge level cannot be higher than the appliance surge level, you won't be able to run it. So pay attention to this and make sure that the surge on the power station is higher than the surge on your appliance. And of course, surge is going to be a lot higher than its normal output. For example, Delta Mini normal output is 1400 watts, but its surge is 2100 watt. Delta 1 surge is 3,300 watt. Delta 2 surge is 2,700 watt. Delta Max surge is 5,000 watt. Delta 2 Max surge is 4,800 watt. And Delta Pro's surge is whooping 7,200 watts. Weight is another important factor that you need to consider because think about it. Some of them are very manageable, very light. You can easily take it with you anywhere. And the others are less manageable. Even with the wheels and a handle on here, Delta Pro still comes at 99 pounds, which is 45 kilograms, quite a bit of weight. So you need to know that you will be carrying these power stations with you everywhere. You might need to take it to the second floor or you know it will take a space inside your vehicle and stuff like this. So just don't forget about the weight. Don't get fully driven away by the capacity and power output. That's it. So there we are. Those are six factors that you need to consider before purchasing a power station and particularly 
EcoFlow Delta Series power station. First, capacity, the thing that decides how long will it last. Second, output, the thing that decides what kind of appliances will it be able to handle. Third is the charging method. Are you going to charge from the socket a lot or are you going to charge from solar panels? Fourth is a lifespan. Are you considering an LFP battery or NCM battery? Fifth is a surge. How high of a surge your battery can handle? And last but not least, of course, the weight. If the portability matters, go for smaller ones. And if the longevity and output matters, go for bigger ones. If you want to dive deeper into specific user scenario, definitely go ahead and check out EcoFlow's blog because we have a lot of valuable articles on a different user scenarios. So we'll be leaving a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't learn anything, just write us a comment and tell us what exactly you need a power station for and we'll help you to choose the right one for yourself. Also, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave your questions in the comments and we'll be answering them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook page and join our EcoFlow Delta users community where we have over 50,000 people who are using these units, talking to each other, sharing their experiences and scenarios. That's about it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.